Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to uh, set up some simple culling um, for the foliage inside of Unreal. Um, in a previous tutorial I, was, I showed you how to set up the foliage uh, tools inside Unreal. Um, I've left the FPS counter up here, so what I've done is I've created a scene here. Very simple. A cube full of grass and trees, flowers, etc. Um, so as you can see here we've got a this this was originally running at 120 frames a second on a 20 uh, 280 T, Ti card, so this is a huge drop in performance, and I can tell you that the fans going like the clappers at the moment on it. So obviously that's no good. You know we need this as optimized as possible for our games. You can see here we've got a ridiculous amount of grass in our um, uh, foliage instance here. So what we're going to do is um, a few things to help important performance. One is shadows. As you can see here, that's almost doubled it for the grass. Um, gen yeah, generally, I turn the shadows off on the grass um, because of you know it's so, it's such a huge performance increase that um, uh, you know it's worth it. But for this this purpose, I'm going to show leave that on just to, sh to uh, show the impact more of culling. So when you select um, the grass here, now we've got culling. So scroll down in that. And where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I can't see it. There we go. Cull distance. So what this is is obviously the grass at the back here we can't see. So there's no point trying to you know render it on screen. So what we can do is we can increase this maximum. So that's basically saying how far is the grass? Uh, do we see the grass in the distance before it no longer shows? So what we'll do is we'll go say first 200. So you can see it's done something there, and you can see that it's almost double the performance. So obviously, we'll bring that right, right down. So um, what's happening here? It's not no longer rendering any grass. Um, so obviously, at this view, you don't really don't really notice it when you you scan in through, um, which is great. You know, obviously, when you get to areas like here, you notice it more, depending on the angle that you're at. Um, so what we'll say is we'll increase our our uh, culling distance there. Now, we can also do as well. So we've increased uh, almost, yeah, almost double from 30 to 60. Great. Obviously, the trees, same principle. So we each each tree, each um, instance can have a different culling uh, distance on it. So we get say with this one we want. Well, these ones might be more impactful. What is that what we're doing it? What's going on there? Uh, uh, uh. So just, yeah, so right, there we go. So to put that 50. Yeah, so these, I think because they're bigger, so we'll do the same on this one, 50. So there we go. So you can see there's is quite a noticeable um, drop. Um, hasn't really saved any, any performance on that, so it's mainly grass. So um, we'll do the same with the flowers. Take those, we'll say, well, I only want to see them 100 in the distance. Um, so there we go. So what's happening there is as we're moving forward, they're rendering in. Now what you can do is to combine this with LODs. Um, if you don't know about LODs, I've got a tutorial on that, which is level of detail. So these trees also have a LOD as you get further away. They drop in, in quality, which um, helps speed up um, performance even more. Um, so as you can see there we've got a huge increase of an extra 30 frames for what we've just done there. Again if we untick that with the oh, no, select our grass, untick that, we're getting back to 120 frames a second. So those combined with say shadows etc, um, huge in performance increases. Culling is very important. It's a lot of them, um, a lot of people when they first start they'll plonk tons of grass down, tons of this and then they think well my scene's not rendering properly, it's not you know, it's, it's not running properly and um, all of that. Uh, and it's because of generally they, they don't know about culling. So always bear that in mind. Um, so there we go, so span it through. Obviously what you'll notice here is we've got grey um, grey here what you can do is obviously I'll go a very uh, basic example I've created a very simple texture here and obviously when you you can spend a, a bit of time using maybe photographs of say something from this view of this grass and then you can use it as a texture so when we plonk that down um, oh, if I actually put it in the texture grid 
you know, you match the colours up and then what happens when you're looking at it, you know, like this, you don't really, you really notice it. So, so you're going along and you think, oh, well, it's part of the, you know, the grass. As I say, if you photograph something like that, use it as a texture, you, you know, the culling wouldn't look as bad, you know, because you're never that close to it. And you're never going to be, you know, even there you can't really notice it and it doesn't look out of place. So... As I say, Cullen's incredibly important for performance and games alone, um, so hopefully that's helped. If it has, please leave a like and maybe subscribe. Thanks.